Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 6th to the 12th of March 2017. We're coming out of a very watery, etheric and mystical week with so much activity in Pisces. And that continues. We have Mercury and Neptune meeting in Pisces, tuning us into, making us coherent to receive intuition and to tune into our imagination. So very gentle alignment here because we're creating from the greater space and we have some energy coming in this week where we can start to put our plans into action. But it's really been about all the seeds that we sowed in our imagination, all the ideas that we had. Feels to me like we go back to last September and have a look at everything that was nebulous, everything that was kind of being floated out into the clouds at that point is now starting to rain down in different areas and now starting to see those seeds actually come up from under the ground from through the winter into the spring some of the ideas are now actually blossoming so very gentle energy permeates the week still from last week with so much activity with the sun mercury and neptune all in pisces but with mercury and neptune meeting to put that final alignment together so being receptive being intuitive and allowing that flow to continue without any need for direct action at the beginning of the week is where we start. Venus has turned retrograde in Aries, so we're going back to our passion. We're going back to what actually fires us up in the heart. And this phase will take us all the way through to mid-May. So to fall in love with our love and creativity, that is a place that we also create from, that place of excitement and passion. By Tuesday we have Mars trining Saturn. A trine is a very harmonic angle. So with Mars is a big story this week. Mars is going to be moving from Aries to Taurus. But this is the beginning of that. When Mars trines Saturn, we take our energy and apply it. We create structure. It takes a lot of discipline to direct that power and the right level of control, not trying to mentally force things to happen, but just generally steering from a place of passion and seeing where we can put that energy, where we can harness it, and where we can apply it. So by Friday this will make more sense, but on Monday we start the week with this need to direct our power. We've gone back with Venus retrograde and connected with it. We've aligned ourselves with all this Neptunian energy into our imagination, into our soul desires and now it's going to be a week of taking that and harnessing it all and directing it to something structured and something productive. By Tuesday we're back in the waters of Pisces though so that's just a visualization really for the Monday structure of where we want to take ourselves and direct ourselves but we still have a little bit more tuning in to do and a little bit more cleansing as well. When the Sun meets with Mercury it's like medicine it's like shining a healing light into stagnant waters and getting ready to be purified. So Tuesday seems to be a day to get rid of any blocks and to get rid of any negative beliefs so that where we're harnessing this energy and directing it, we're not meeting immediately with a brick wall, but we're actually in a state of allowance to say, yes, this is my passion, this is my soul desire, this is what I want to put it towards, but also I allow myself to actually be successful. I allow myself to build something of great worth. So just to explore any blocks there on Tuesday to make sure that the road ahead is clear. This metamorphosis continues on Wednesday. We can explore any wounded child or any victim emotional mentality and bring that into its maturity and its majesty. So I feel that these will be the blocks where we feel that we don't deserve or where we feel that we're in lack or hard done by. All of these can be explored under this sun mercury cleansing, piercing energy on Tuesday and Wednesday so that we do actually allow ourselves to grow into the greatest majesty of ourselves and therefore allow our dreams room to flourish and to reach new heights. So it might be a good idea to take a look at where you have a tendency to make a plan but then limit it. I would like to put my energy into this project but anything where that but comes in uh, because we've got room to expand now into new space, we've got room to clear the channels 
in order that our energy is going towards something that can actually grow bigger than it would have done in the past with the old mentalities. So by Thursday, Friday, we have Mars going from Aries into Taurus. So on Thursday, we have a final blast of Aries energy as Mars prepares to leave that sign for another two years. We've begun a new two year cycle and Mars is very powerful. We can feel the energy run through our bodies, we can actually give ourselves Reiki, if you like, energy healing to revitalize and to blast away any of those final blocks that we've realized during this Piscean trinity, during this self-cleansing and this space-making couple of weeks with all that energy in Pisces. So a final blast there as Mars leaves Aries on Thursday just to get those channels free and energized so that we're excited, revitalized, liberated and ready to go. By Friday we have Mars moving into Taurus so this echoes back to the Mars trine Saturn on Monday where we were looking at where we want to direct our energy with discipline and control and actually put it into something of structure. With Mars going into Taurus that is really possible. Where can you focus your energy into something productive? So we'll have about six weeks to work with this energy and all the new ideas that we've had from last September, from the beginning of the year, all the energy and the starting that we've had going on in the last six weeks can now start to slow down and consolidate, can actually start to apply ourselves, our plans become projects, we can actually plot a course to achieve something and create something. And that something can be something very meaningful with Venus retrograde in Aries, taking us back to our true excitement and our true love and creativity. So we can harness all of this together, even though it seems like disparate energies with lots of Aries and lots of Pisces, those don't normally go very well together. If we plot a course through the week, we can start to actually put ourselves into a structure as Mars goes into Taurus on Friday. But the real news this week is that we're heading towards a full moon at 22 degrees Virgo. So this is the last of five moons that have fallen at the 22 degree angle. I've been speaking about those over the past few weeks. So we have the moon at 22 degrees Virgo and the sun at 22 degrees Pisces, calling for balance across the axis of conscious and subconscious mind, of what we do in the daytime and what we do at nighttime, of the left and the right hemisphere, of rational application and inner spiritual imagination. So that axis is very powerful at the full moon at 22 degrees Virgo. Where can we take ourselves and actually apply that energy? So it seems to be a week of application, but application having gone back to find what it is that we really care about, what it is that we're here to contribute, what our soul desires and what part of our soul plan we're acting out at the moment. So we have the phrase, how can you know where you're going if you don't know where you're coming from? And spiritually this applies to this full moon. The modern world pulls us out of ourselves into action and expression. And especially with so much social media, there's this desire to just speak out or to react really quickly. But we've been called in through this month of Pisces to reconnect to who we really are, to make sure that our inner and outer worlds are aligned to make sure that we know who we are and where we're coming from before we start to speak and act. So there's been lots of inner reflection, there's been lots of cleansing, there's been a need to let go of judgment and control and to dive into our inner sanctuary, to dance with our imagination and to listen to the guidance of our intuition between the conscious and subconscious worlds, between waking and sleeping, between the past and the future we've been held in a gentle healing space. So reconnecting with our emotional intelligence to find the clarity that comes from there and the wisdom that can then be applied by the rational mind rather than just producing externally all the time. We've had to embrace the ambiguous. We've had to be happy with not knowing and confusion in order to reconnect to our unlimited selves to reconnect and embrace with our state of grace, to liberate ourselves from past psychologies so that when we do step forwards to this final 22 
productive building energy of a full moon in Virgo, we know where we're coming from. We know who we are and we know where we create from. And then all we need to do is put a structure together and put our Mars in Taurus into action and focus our energy into building from that place and building something of great worth. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. If you'd like to take a look at your chart, everybody's chart is different, so this energy can be harnessed in a specific area of your life according to the alignment of your chart, then I am available for readings on Skype or one-to-one -one in London. You're also very welcome to either join my online group and learn over the course of a year, working with the energies as they come up and applying them to your chart in a friendly environment, or even take one of my courses where you can learn astrology for yourself and actually start to work on your own chart and unravel its mysteries. So for any of that, please do contact me, zoehind7 at gmail.com.